You want to make a NeoForge server? We're going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. First things first, you're going to need to download NeoForge itself. That and all of the links to get NeoForge and everything else in this video are in the description down below. Once you're here, go ahead and click Download NeoForge to go to the official download page. On this page, you want to make sure 1.21.10 is selected, and then just click here to download. And that's literally what the button's called. Click here to download. Once you click on that, the download will begin, where you'll need to keep or save the NeoForge file you're downloading. Now, I do want to quickly mention the server we're making here is only meant for your friends and family. It's also only up and running when your computer's up and running. It is not a 24-hour server. On top of that, anyone who gets this IP address can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So with that, what if you do want a server that's up all the time? What if you don't have to worry about server hardware? Because this is hosted on your own computer, so if you have a bad computer, you're not going to be able to host this server. And what if you just don't have to worry about security or any of that? Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. You can check it out in the first link in the description down below to start your very own NeoForge server in just a few minutes. You can add any NeoForge mods that you want to the server, and if you want mod packs instead, there's hundreds of mod packs with one-click installation. Plus, there's expert live chat support, so let's say you add add a mod to the server, it's not starting, something's broken, there is live chat support there to help you out and get your server online and how you want it. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own Minecraft server in just a few minutes. Now, if you do want to self-host a server, the file is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser. We then want to find that NeoForge installer in our downloads folder. Go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, and click on Java. If you do that, it should open up the installer here. But if you don't have Java, when we right click and open with, what do you do? Well, we need to get Java 21. This is required for modded Minecraft servers to be able to work and run on your computer. This goes over everything you need to know to get Java. We also have the jar fix, which basically takes the jar files from your computer and links them to Java. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and open up that NeoForge installer with right click, open with Java. And we first want to install client because anyone who joins this server, including yourself, needs to open up the NeoForge installer like this and install client and then click proceed. Anyone who joins your server also needs the mods that you install on your server to be installed locally as well. Unfortunately, that's just a limitation of modded Minecraft. If you don't want to have to have people joining your server, adding the mods, you're going to need to use a thing called plugins, which you can find very easily. Nevertheless, we can click OK there and we can reopen up the installer. This time we're going to be doing the server side of things. Go ahead and click install server. This red box will appear. Click the three dots in the red box and then click on desktop. Then you want to right click and create a new folder. We're going to name this NeoForge 1.21.10 server. Then you want to select that folder you created by clicking on it and then clicking select. Now we can go ahead and make sure that start server jar is included. We want to make sure this is checked and then click proceed. It will now download, install, do everything that we need to get basically up and running installed in that folder that we created. Now we can click OK, we'll close out of that, and we can find the folder on our desktop here. In this folder, we have a bunch of files, including this run.bat file. It's a Windows batch file, double click on it, and your server will attempt to start, but it's gonna fail. As you can see, press any key to continue, but we have some files and folders here. We wanna open up the eola.txt file, and assuming we agree to the Minecraft eola, change eula equals false to eula equals true. Then do file, save. We're good there. We can close out of this and double click that run.bat file again. Now your Forge server is online, but it doesn't have any mods or anything like that. So we want to make sure that we get those added. And to do that, you want to simply stop the server first by coming over here and typing stop and hitting enter, right like so. It's gonna close out of the server and make sure it shuts down properly. And then we wanna download some mods. Now, it kinda of doesn't matter what mods you want to install, they're all installed the same way. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a few here. Specifically, I wanna go ahead and grab the Waystones mod. The reason being, is if we go to the files here, we will be able to see that one, it does have a 1.21.10 NeoForge version. That's required. This obviously will only work for NeoForge mods. But if we click on this, this is the important part, we can go to related projects and see that this requires Balm. It's a required dependency. Meaning if you don't install this on your server, it's not gonna work. Always check mods you add for these because most of the time, if your server's not working, this is why. So you wanna go ahead and make sure we're opening that as well. But first, download Waystones itself. It'll download after a few seconds. We can then go ahead and repeat this process for the Balm dependency mod, the NeoForge 1.21.10 version. Another trusted place to get mods is Modrinth. Also trusted, also good to get mods from here, but the process is pretty much exactly the same. 
Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and what we want to do is take those mods, Balm, Waystones, and any other Neoforge mods you want to install, and drag and drop them into this mods folder within our server folder here. You can see the run.bat files in here, and there's a mods folder. Open that up and move the mods in here. But you're not done. You want to make sure you select them, right click, and then copy them. Because like I said, these need to be installed locally in your mods folder. You would also want to make sure your friends download these mods and install them as well in their mods folders. Now though, these are installed on the server, so we can go ahead and double click the run.bat file to start the server and open up the Minecraft launcher. But don't play Minecraft yet. To install these mods locally, just go to Installations, and then hover over your Neoforge installation. Click the folder icon, and then find your mods folder. If you don't have one, just make one. Then right click and paste these mods in here, you're good to go. That process I just did is what your friends also need to do. Then play Minecraft with Neoforge. Once you're in game, you can join your server. Now, at this point, you're the only person that can join your server, but of course I recommend testing things just to make sure that things are going to lag and stuff like that before your friends join. So go to multiplayer. We can add a server here. We'll call this a local connection because it's a local connection that only you can use. And the IP address is going to be local host. All one word exactly like that. Click done. It will resolve and you can double click to join. You'll see us join in here in the background. Now we have Waystones installed locally and on the server. So we can go ahead and op ourselves by coming over here and typing op and then our username in the console. And that allows us to do things like go into creative and we can find Waystones here and obviously place one down just to prove that it is working. This will be our spawn Waystone. And then we could also place another one down if we wanted to maybe over here and we'll put this as like the cave Waystone, and then we can easily go back and forth between these just to show that they are working. Now, how do your friends join this server though? If it's not lagging, you're good to go. Well, in order for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. We have an in-depth guide on port forwarding linked in the description down below that goes over everything you need to know to let your friends join your Neoforge server. It's all covered step by step, and once this is done, your friends will join using your public IP. But don't worry, that's also outlined in this video. So go check it out. We've also got a text guide, but I know most people prefer the video guides. So if you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Enjoy your modded Minecraft server, and we will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.